And a first alert for you, traction laws are in effect on I-70 Denver to Vail tonight. That means you have to have four-wheel drive, snow tires, or chains. Now, there is another option. Liz Gillardi is along I-70 tonight. Liz? Shannon, this is an auto sock, and if you're like me, you've probably never heard of this before, but today seemed like the perfect day to test it out. Yeah, it's a bit of a surprise. The first significant snowfall, leaving many of us feeling unprepared, including our cars. You got to remember, this white part's the part that gives you the traction, so that needs to go over the tread. We put these auto socks on our SUV along the side of I-70 and headed west, driving several miles through snowy and slick conditions as temperatures continue to drop. I didn't know what to expect, but we noticed a big difference in traction. Distributed by a Denver company and put to the test in Colorado near the Eisenhower Tunnel. And the next test we're going to do on it is we're going to slip an auto sock on there. Results show the auto sock is at least 10% more effective when compared to chains. And it's a really nice, lightweight insurance policy to have in your trunk when you need it for that kind of situation. Because when traction laws are in effect, you need snow tires, a four-wheel or all-wheel drive vehicle, or just good old-fashioned chains. I like the chains for my tractor. I feel a lot safe. You know, I know I'm secure. I can use my engine brake going down the hill, so I'll take the time and put the chains on. And it is law. Now, as for conditions, road conditions in the mountains tonight, it's still pretty slick. That's what we're seeing, especially as temperatures continue to drop. But we are seeing quite a few plows out here tonight. But definitely, if you're heading into the mountains along I-70, be careful. Reporting live, Liz Gillardi, Denver 7. Liz,